So there I am, in my parents' attic, going through my old stuff, when I find this. What is that? What is that? What is that? Is that from another girl? Uh... Would you believe me if I said you built a time machine? Traveled back in time to meet me in middle school, and handed me a note that contains the secrets to the universe? No. Oh, then it's from another girl. What? You ever have a crush on someone you totally shouldn't have? Well, in the seventh grade, I had a forbidden love. My babysitter. Hey, where are you going? To build a time machine and then slap that girl in the face. And yeah, she was my babysitter, but she was more meant to watch my little sister. But she was a super hottie. You know what? I think she's the reason I love Halloween. And it all comes down to what happened in this note. So, here's the story. So I was walking home from school, talking to my buddy how I'm all nervous about this crush. I don't know, man. What if she says no? Nah. Bro, she's the one. Since when are you into romance? Since I've seen that girl's booty, bro. <laughs> Dude, keep it down. She's like right there. God, she's hot. Now, unfortunately, it was a phrase just like that that I said at just the wrong time. <gasps> my, my, my. Where'd you come from? Rella, you should know. I'm always watching. Don't you dare tell her. And ruin a perfectly good sitter with your cringy crush. Never. Now, I don't know if you watch My Hero Academia, little anime I got into thanks to Crunchyroll, but the villain, Tamura Shigaraki, I think you could learn something from my sister. Because you know what she did? She told the sitter. I was freaking out, hiding in my room. I remember hearing her footsteps coming down the hall, just trying not to let my pack out, and the door opens, and I could literally, like, feel my heart. And she says, you are the most stunning man I have ever seen in my entire life. What? I mean, that's what I remember, but it was probably something more like... Can I play that with you? When you're 13, I'm pretty sure those things mean the same thing, right? I mean, this is the first time a girl I liked was in my room. So we're sitting there, and on the inside, I'm like, What the heck is going on right now? She was terrible. Could not play Mario Kart for anything. But asking how much I cared. Go on, ask me. I'm waiting. Type it in the comments. How much did you care, Alex? I didn't care at all! She was like doing the giggly thing and like laying on my shoulder and I was like... <gasps> so for like the first couple weeks of October, whenever we had to get babysat, I had a built-in date. I feel like now's a good time to point out that she was only like two years older than me-ish. But age doesn't matter, right? <gasps> You know what does matter? Clicking that like button and subscribing and notifications and blah, 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 blah. So it was maybe like the second or third time she'd come over. Things were escalating. This wasn't my first rodeo, so I had some experience smooching. But it was my first kiss with her, and I remember it was like six inches from her lips. Then three inches. And then... Well, this ah, was oh unexpected, gosh. to say uh, the least. No, it's not what you think. I'm fired, aren't I? Yes, but first, I want you to watch me not giving you a tip. Just save five bucks, you're fired. This was probably the worst thing that could happen. Cause like I said, she was in high school. The only way we were ever in the same place is if she was babysitting. You know, I didn't have a car or a phone or Facebook or anything. You know what we do have? Five bucks, I got a frame for it and everything. Ugh. Also, son, you're grounded. So as you can imagine, when I was with my friends, she was like all I could talk about. Yeah, right. You kissed a high school girl? No, I didn't kiss her. That's the problem! Oh, uh, hello, how you doing? Yeah, uh... So you know my sister, she was, uh, I, she's a babysitter, and, uh, well, uh, uh, these are some keys to your house and a note, and she wanted me to just give it to, uh, you and enjoy. You remember that note I found in my attic? This one? That's how I got it. From Stutter Brother. Ripped it open, and all it said was... You are not gonna believe what happened last night. Oh! I'm from the future, you whore. Ill person. No, it doesn't say that. It says, Sorry I got you in trouble. If it wasn't for your dad, I would have loved that kiss. <laughs> now, what does this all have to do with my love of Halloween? Well, this is the best part. And hot tip for people that are grounded. It doesn't hurt to suck up a little bit, lessen the punishment. Like when I was a kid, I gave my mom so many macaroni necklaces, she opened an olive garden. And it paid off. Because the night before Halloween, I'm in the car with my mom, and she goes, You know, you were too old for a babysitter anyway. Yeah? Why don't you go out trick-or-treating alone? You mean I'm not grounded? Nope. Cool! So Hot Babysitter lived on the other side of town. But I convinced my buddies to walk the couple miles over there to try and find her. Dude. Why did we agree to this? I did it for the macaroni necklaces. Now, I didn't know exactly where she lived, so we must have knocked on like three or four hundred doors. I was searching for so long that my friends ditched me. And right when I was about to give up, my dad pulled up at the stoplight. And you'll never guess who was sitting next to him in the passenger seat. The babysitter. And they were kissing. Scared you for a minute, didn't I? No, that didn't happen. <laughs> Oh my god. I got scared and I knew it was fake. My dad was nowhere to be found, but her car 
was right in front of me. It was just me and her. It was like this kind of romantic moment where we're just like, <laughs> so I'm sure you understand why I love Halloween, but there's more to the story. Because the next day at school, I got another note. But first, real quick, y'all know I've been getting into anime lately, thanks to Crunchyroll. So I want to give you a quick update on my time with My Hero Academia. Also, thanks to you guys for recommending it in the comments. It was really good. Holy cow, so great, so many fights. And I loved how they called superpowers quirks. If you had to pick, like, what would my quirk be? Do you think? And something cool, since they are our sponsor, if you want to check out crunchyroll.com slash alex to get a free two-week trial of their premium service. I'm talking ad-free, 1080p on Roku, iOS, Android. They got apps for everything. Maybe my quirk would be making macaroni necklaces. So what should I watch next? You helped me before, so I'm hoping you can help me again down in the comments. Or if you want to watch too, hit up crunchyroll.com slash alex, link in the description. Now, if you're wondering what happened with that second note, the one from the babysitter. I'll tell you all about it in my next video. Y'all, I love him finding the screenshots. So you know what? Someone that finds this week's is gonna win something awesome. I promise. And if you do want to check out some more great YouTubers, def subscribe to Sugar and Pam on Sunset, who both voice the girls in this video. And if you are a big fan of this channel, when you do visit crunchyroll.com slash alex, it helps us out a ton just by checking it out. So thanks. I am It's Alex Clark, and I will see you somewhere. Okay? Bye!